Hey mates, what's up? Today I'm gonna show you how to use RescueZilla. It's an awesome tool that works just like Clonezilla, but with clean, simple graphic interface that's super beginner friendly, much easier to understand. So whether you want to clone entire hard drive, backup your system, or restore partition, RescueZilla makes it super easy. No complex terminal command is needed. It's perfect for Linux and Windows users. It's great for backups, upgrade, or recovering your data. And uh, the best, it's free, it's open source, and it's very easy to use so stick around and I'll walk through everything step by step all right let's begin first let's navigate to rescuezilla website and download the ISO file that we'll use for the installation all right after the file has been downloaded if you use Windows you can uh, use the recommended Belina tool that RescueZilla offer in the website. Just download and install this tool. Let's run the exe file and install it. Now let's choose the ISO file as the source. RescueZilla, the last version. Let's connect the flash drive to my laptop. Okay. And select the flash drive we just connected. And we will flash and format the drive. And the files we copy, finish. Now I'll show you how to do the same with Rufus. It's much easier. Go to Rufus website, download the last version, run Rufus and select the ease of file location. Keep everything on default. Just make sure the device that you, you connect is the correct flash drive you would like to format and install the files and let it run and it will copy all the files to the flash drive. And as you can see, Excuse me, has been installed. All right, now I will show you how you create RescueZilla bootable flash drive with Linux. As you can see, I will now boot from my Linux machine. My Linux machine run from a flash drive. So I will choose the flash drive. Let's boot up. Okay, as you can see, I have my Linux machine up and running and let's navigate to the, the download folder that contains the rescuezilla iso file and as you can see it's quite simple you open we choose the disk image writer okay now we need to connect the flash drive i have another flash drive 64 gigs the one we already use let's wait a moment that the uh, Mint OS will recognize the drive. Here it is. And start restoring. And again, we will get notification that all the data will be erased. Enter your admin password and let it run. It will create the RescueZilla bootable image, flash drive. All right, that's restart the system and now we will boot from the rescuezilla usb choose the boot menu in this case i choose the 64 gigabytes usb drive that contain rescuezilla let it boot up here it is we use a different setting to next next and as you can see the GUI is quite self-explanatory so let's choose backup it go over all the drive we recognize all the available drives and as you can see i have here 250 gigabytes that's my windows os boot device and i have also two terabyte these that contain most of the data my backups and files i work every day the other drive is 128 gigs it's running my mint machine and the last one is the 64 gigabytes that we used boot rescuezilla from okay so i'm gonna choose now the 128 gigabyte drive 
the container my Linux Mint, I would like to create a backup of this drive. So here it represents 114. Choose this one. We'll choose all the partitions, the bootloader and the drive itself. Next. And now we need to choose the destination drive. So I will use my data drive, the two terabyte. You see I have many partitions. I will use the backup partition and let's create a folder. We will call it OS backups. Next, and the image name, that backup file names. Let's call it, is a default one with the date, rescuezilla and mint x phase 21. That's the version I use. And compression level, you don't have to compress. I keep it on default, gunzip 60%. And let it run, next. Now you start to create the backup. So this depends on your drive spin. Uh, since I'm reading from a flash drive, I think it's USB version 2, so it's going to be slow. Okay, let's fast forward. Okay, backup has been created. Let's uh, reboot the system. I want to boot again for my Mint OS, and we will see what files has been created for the backup. So let's disconnect the Clonezilla USB drive, boot to the Mint OS. Okay, that's the backup. That's the folder that contains all the backup. Let's see how much it's weight. Around 30 gigabytes. Okay. It's almost half the original size of my OS, the Mint OS. Okay, now let's try to restore our system. Let's reboot again the Mint machine. And we connect back the RescueZilla flash drive. Reboot from the RescueZilla flash drive at the boot menu I choose the second USB okay rescue Zilla boot up just click next next default settings and now as you can see the GUI is quite self-explanatory let's choose restore okay the source location the image location let's choose the correct partition it was on backup too let's browse look for it the OS backups, oh, these are the files. Okay, choose this location. And the destination, I want to use the 128 gigabyte. It will run over the, the Mint OS, but you can use a new drive or whatever you want to do. Okay, it shows us that we have two partitions and all the data will be overwritten. Another warning, yes. And now it starts to restore the drive from the image we created. It will take a while, this is USB 2. So probably take an hour or so, we'll fast forward. Okay, done. Restore summary, let's reboot the system and remove the RescueZilla flash drive. And let's see if the system has been restored. Oh, it's hot. Whoa. Yeah, the flash drive is hot. Okay, system restored. Let's see. The size, yeah, so the system is 64, 63 gigabytes, and our image file was 30 gigabytes, so it's compressed it almost 50%. Okay, let's remove the Mint OS, USB drive, boot as usual. Windows is up and running. Anyway, mates, I hope you understand and everything is clear. If you have questions, just write in the comments. Feel free to like, subscribe. I hope it's understandable, helpful, and I wish you all the best. Have a nice day. Cheers.